Hello and welcome to Resident Evil 2 Remake guys. So I've just got finished playing the Resident Evil 3 Remake which was just amazing. It was nothing what I expected it to be. I thought it was literally a hyped up graphics of the original game. But no, it's a proper remake. So I was like, yeah, we got to play the second one that came out before the third one. Um, so yeah, I've loaded it up. We're good to go. I've noticed there's two stories though which is interesting. Uh, we've got Leon and we've got Claire. Um, we'll start with Leon, and I guess we'll come back and play Claire. I mean, obviously each game, I don't know, each story is like three to four hours, I assume, because the whole game's like eight hours, I think. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into this, guys. Ooh, we'll play standard, because I'm always... Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know? So I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes. Her nose, her whole face, it looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy, calm down. Just, hey, you gotta stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, it'll sink to teeth and I'll somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. around that's weird oh and we're in is this Leon then? Looks different. I guess because he's not wearing his uniform. Right, so was that to move like every other game ever? Is there anything we can quickly grab before we go in? Because I don't really want to just pop my head around the door and hope for the best. Okay, it looks like we're doing that because there isn't anything. Oh my god, it's such a bad idea, guys. Hello? Anybody there? Something's not right. Oh shoot, what's that? Oh my god, I hit people everywhere. There's someone over there and there's someone behind us as well. Oh my god, this is so creepy. I guess we might have to see what's wrong with this guy. 
the boy is wrong with this guy? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Can we get a gun, please? What the hell? What? Wait, did they just lock us in? What the hell? Okay. Wait, I don't know what to expect, guys. Let's do this. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Oh, this guy is a cop. I thought so. Good shot, good shot. Good shot, good shot. Keep it accurate. Yes. I don't think he's dead though, somehow. What the heck? Well, the music's having a field day, guys. Okay, that seems like it would be useful for something. Mate. Okay. <gasps> Can't be. Flipping, flipping horror movie, guys. Oh, I missed, damn it. And the other guy's gonna have turned into a zombie as well. I think we're meant to kill this guy, aren't we? Is it dead? I think it's still alive. Oh my god, okay, let's get out of here, guys. Can we open these lockers? No, okay. Hey, this is the key we needed, okay. This is fine. Wish we started some ammo and I didn't waste it on that zombie. I thought we were meant to kill him. Oh my god, what the hell. Thank god that guy's stuck. <gasps> what the hell? Where did it go? What the? Yeah, what the indeed. No. Get the hell out of dodge. So, thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. On. I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. You live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. What a flipping intro, man. It just throws you in just right in there, which I love. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. Holy 
shit. Here, get out. Get out now! Stay here, it's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. Alright, so I can, I can see how you can play as Claire then. How many shots do we have? We're still zero. Right. So, this game is 24 hours before the second one, I believe. No, sorry, the third one. 24 hours before the third one. Shit. Yeah. Just go around. Everybody. They've all turned. I didn't realise Resident Evil was like a zombie apocalyptic game, so I thought it was just like supernatural monster things. There RPD. It is. The station. See they got Austin minis! <laughs> Look! <laughs> I said that in the last playthrough of Resident Evil 3. Could do some ammo, you know. Oh he's a big geezer. Just keep running. No, no. How did we not get grabbed? Hey, and you see, in the second one, you break through this fence. That is so cool. Okay, this is really cool to see the same kind of area. Okay, let's get in here. Yeah, you see in the game, you went that way to the left in the third one. I guess you don't Hello? in this one? Is anybody here? Oh, ammo. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, what's this? Okay, let's have a look. There has to be someone here. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Send reinforcements! East hallway! Right, okay. It's so a right wing of the building. Okay, that's cool, we can do that. Now, do we have anything in our box? I would assume not, considering we've just started. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Just do a quick save. Nice. I love a fresh save slot. Right, I guess looking around is probably not a dumb idea. Um, there must be some bits and bobs around, right? Looks like a survival area. What's this? Oh, look. So in Resident Evil 3 you had like these crystals that you could collect. Oh, so this makes so much sense. So in the third one again, oh, it's so cool how they kind of conjoined in a way. You had these doors which you just couldn't get in. I'm assuming it's for this game. Well, this game had access to it. That is so very cool. Of course, I played this in a really weird order. So I've played this third and then second, which probably doesn't make sense. Uh, oh, I knew there'd be something down here. I think actually in the third one there was something down here as well. That's cool. Nice. What's this? Oh, a lock. Huh, okay, I guess we'll come to that later. So it's the whole game evolved around this area then. I wonder. I'm still really annoyed that we use those shots. We shouldn't have. Oh, can we go in here? Oh, we can. Okay. Nice green herb. That is how we heal in this game. If you did not know, 
You can consume it, or you can actually add it to Red Herb, which looks purple, to be honest with you. And that allows you to do amazing things. Give it a pause anytime, guys, if you just want to have a little bit of a read. Oh, there's something down there as well. We can't obviously go in there. Oh, what's down here? We obviously missed something. Oh, there's a safe with, yeah, a combination. Okay. Getting some. We're getting some. Can we use the vending machine? No, we can't. That would be kind of cool if we could have. Right. And there's definitely nothing around here? No. See, in this game, it's all about finding as much stuff as possible. The more you get, the more likely you are to survive. Nah, I love these games. They're so much fun. That's so brilliant. I love survival horror. I think that is my favourite genre. I'm not going to lie. Can we do something here? Oh, uh, we need a knife. Just like Resident Evil 7. Toilet paper. Ah, interesting. <laughs> this game foreshadowed what was going to happen. Oh, what's this? Can we do something here? Hey. Keep out. Oh, that is not promising. We have to go under this, don't we? Great. This is such a good idea, guys. Definitely not going to get us killed. It's super late at night. Why am I playing this? What's this? Oh, uh, do we have to get a fuse? Okay. Oh, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Zombies are going to be everywhere. Okay, it's locked from the other side. Of course. It's always the way. Sounds like that's going to burst open any minute. Probably when we need to escape the area. No, we don't got this. I don't like this. Okay, so we could go in here. Should we go in here? Oh, why are we going in here? Weird creeks came from this area. Bullet holes. Damn, okay, so a fight went down here. So cool, so we haven't been to the other... This guy's going to wake up. Tell me he says. Oh, light switch. Oh, that makes me feel better. No, I don't really want to click on that body. I feel like he's just going to flip and grab us. Okay, we're going to have to do it. I feel like he might have a key card, I guess. Oh, shoot, he had ammo. That's like the first time I've ever looted a body in this game. I guess you don't usually get that lucky. Amazing. Okay, that was worth doing. Let's hold this. Oh, we're making noise. This is never good. So are we going to fight a cure to zombie apocalypse? Because in the last game we just killed the massive tyrant that was like following us around. Okay, I'm not sure I want to go that way. What's around here? What's that weird sound effect? Oh man, I'm not feeling great right now. I'm in like sinister scared mode, I want to run away. Jump scare? I nick the toilet paper. Apparently it's worth a lot in this period of time. <laughs> Mate, it's crazy how these games are so, like, almost so similar to what's happening at the moment. Obviously without the zombies, though. You know? Where everything just goes mad. Luckily we ain't got no zombies. Imagine if we had zombies. That would literally be everything ten times worse. Right, let's continue with this crazy, crazy game. These Jesus. guys are going to come alive. Oh. What? Okay, okay, dude. Okay, chill. I'll get you out. Oh no, it's stuck. Please, come here, help me. I got you. Give me your other hand. Hell. Officer's notebook. Oh, through the parking. Oh, look! This is the code to get the statue. Okay. Amazing. 
Okay, let's close it. Oh man, that is messed up. Okay. Oh no, they're not over here, are they as well? <gasps> oh no. Ow. Okay, we're gonna need some herb at this rate. Stay down. Don't want to deal with you, Jesus. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh my god, they're out the windows. Wait, can we not open this door? Oh, it's locked. Of course it's locked. That's... No, we need um, cutters for that. We're out of here, guys. Jesus. Oh. They're everywhere. Move. Get out. Get out. Quickly, dude. No! Ooh, like that. You're safe. For now. Thanks. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another off strike I couldn't. Here. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> nice combat knife. So we can slice things open now, can't we? Okay. Oh, that's your ability? What the flip? Okay, okay. Let's do a quick save. Out of interest, can we use it on this? We can. Wow, okay, so that's where we were last game. How I imagined the first day. Mate. <laughs> this is a crazy first day, bro. That's interesting, briefcase isn't here. Wonder who plays that at a later date. Right, we'll go through there in a minute. I want to see what the statue has to offer first. Let's do a quick save. You know what though, the saving in this game is a ton quicker. Alright, so if we go to the statue, it's not that statue, it's the lion, sorry. This will, I imagine, give us something, eh? We haven't got any keys yet. So I imagine that's to come. So if we go inventory... Uh, cool, so we're fine at the moment. Fine is perfect. Uh, let's go E. Let's have a look at this. Now we've got the lion, so we want the lion, plant, bird, lion, plant, bird, lion, plant, bird. Amazing. What does this give us? A coin. 
A line medallion. What the hell does this thing do? I guess it's just a collectible of some sort. Oh, do we put it into this thing? Wait, hold on. We might be on something, guys. Oh, we, oh, oh, we are. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. What a weird thing to have in a cop shop, just saying. <laughs> right. So next thing must be through here. Alright. Um, what we'll do though, we'll leave this episode here because I feel like this next bit's going to be a bit of a long bit and we're already 23-ish minutes on this episode. So I, guys, I really do hope you enjoy this. I hope you're staying well in the world. I don't know when this episode is going to come out to be honest because I've got loads of other games that are coming out, uh, recording wise. Um, but if this does, you know, this pockets might be for a while, hopefully not. I do hope you stay safe. Remember to wash your hands and see you in the next episode. Ciao.